Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sylvia, I live in Amsterdam, I'm 36 years old and today I'm going to talk about strength training and how to start out with strength training as a beginner. So let's get into it. Starting out with strength training as a beginner can be both exciting and intimidating. In today's video I will share with you a couple of simple tips to follow as a beginner to strength training or weightlifting. I am hoping that there are some new beginners out there who are convinced to start exercising because let's be honest, many see exercising training as it's too hard, it's a struggle, it's not worth it. Instead of seeing it as moving your body is a gift, is a privilege, it's amazing and it's really healthy. Here are some steps to help you get started. Step number one, set clear goals. Just determine what you want to achieve through strength training. Do you want to build muscle, increase your overall strength, improve your health? Setting specific goals will help you stay motivated and track your progress. For example, your goal is you are overweight and you want to add regular exercise three times a week to your schedule to better your health, to better your heart health. This is a specific smart goal that will exactly tell you what and why you want to do and how often. Better to set simple and small goals first. It could be as simple as you want to get fitter or leaner, lose weight, gain muscle, run the marathon, etc. But just make sure your goal is a smart goal. So it is specific, it is measurable, it is achievable, realistic, and you set a time to it. It has to be specific what and how you want to achieve. It has to be realistic and realistically fit your lifestyle, your current reality, and has to be achievable with a set of time frame on it. My second tip I would like to cover is plan your workouts. How can you schedule your workouts, your exercises? What works for me is to schedule next week ahead every Sunday evening. Just think through, write it down, set a journal, set in your agenda, how the next week is going to be, how your work schedule is, what meetings, appointments you have, doctor appointment, etc. have ahead uh, for the next week and see when you and how you can fit the workouts into your agenda. See when you have time to work out two, three, four times a week and fill in the spots in your agenda with them and really stick with it. That's really the best you can do, prioritize and schedule your workouts. In case some additional meetings would pop up that are not so necessary, then perhaps it's better to cancel those, but really stick with your workout sessions instead of cancelling these for some fun night out with friends, for example. The third step you should be following is actually following a plan. When you are a beginner, you most probably do not know all the machines in the gym and how they work. You don't have a knowledge of all the workouts and how to perform them and also which workouts to do to achieve your specific goal. It is important to follow a specific plan that suits your goal to achieve success. Many people do not follow a specific plan that fits their goal and once they do not see results, they give up thinking that it's not even possible or they lose motivation. Following the right training plan tailored to your needs will save you from disappointments and loss of motivation. Without following a specific plan, you are basically lost. If you do not follow any plan, then you will just go to the gym, use a few machines probably and do some exercises without any structure in it you may want to even eat the right way, but if there is a structure in what you do, then that structure will actually serve your goal. If you do not follow any structured plan, it won't serve your goal and it will set you up for disappointment. You won't be able to reach your goal and you will give up. So do yourself a favor, contact a professional and set up a training plan, a nutrition plan and a training plan for yourself that will serve your goal. The fourth step, the fourth tip for you is start small. It is also important to consider not to run right into the wall at the beginning. So when you are a beginner and you may have never seen a gym before, then it's probably safe to say you better start slow and gradually increase intensity or strength. You can start with daily walks or bodyweight exercises. Bodyweight exercises are a great way to begin strength training as they require no equipment, but they will help you develop a solid foundation. Exercises like squats, lunges, push-ups, planks and glute bridges can help you improve strength and stability. And finally, my last tip is, the fifth one is be patient and consistent. 
Consistency is key. If you want to work on your body, then most probably once a week or once a month going to the gym or doing some exercises won't be enough. But you have to think of at least exercising three times a week to see results. You also have to keep up with it and not give up if you do not get results right away. It really just takes time. In some cases, it can be even years to reach your specific goal. Sometimes you can see results quick, but after you may reach a plateau or at least it feels like that. Don't stop there, but keep going. Give yourself a bigger challenge. If you feel you can take on more, there's always an option to switch up your trainings, your exercises, add extra weight, extra intensity, extra challenge. Remember to never give up and enjoy the journey because you do it for yourself, not for anyone else. Everything you do for yourself should be fun, it should be exciting. And if it is fun, there is no reason to give up because why would you give up something that is fun? So the most important is you enjoy the whole journey, you learn on the way, you show up for yourself. Also remember, there is no such thing as a perfect. Starting out with strength training can be intimidating with all the different moves and the gym equipment. Again, it is important to stay consistent and learn on the way. You cannot expect yourself to know everything right at the beginning. No one steps into the gym first time with perfect at it. It's like no one starts his new job today and already knows everything about the work. It's all about the journey. So enjoy it, embrace it because it is truly amazing. And one day, one day later on, years later, you will look back and see how much you have learned how amazing your journey was, how much you have learned on the way. And that is what is truly important, that you have showed up for yourself and you have done this for yourself. So that is what is truly important, that you have learned along the way, that you have showed up for yourself and not whether you were perfect from the beginning or not. So staying consistent and patient are the most important parts of fitness. You may not be motivated every day, but your goal, your why will always remind you of what you want to achieve and why you have started it in the first place. And the training plan created for you will make sure you will get there, you will succeed. So staying consistent, get a training plan, make sure you are patient, building strength takes time and dedication results won't come overnight, but with consistency and patience, you'll start to see progress. Celebrate your achievements along the way, stay committed to your goals. Remember, it's always a good idea to consult with a doctor or healthcare professional, especially when you are starting a new exercise program and you have some underlying health condition or other concerns. Thank you for listening to me today and have a great day. Bye-bye.